What's up, y'all? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? Come on. Come on, he's managing. I know, I know. I know some of y'all celebrating a holiday. Uh, the, the holy days. Yes, we got to celebrate the holy days, brother Atem. Come on. Come on. I know it's early. I know it's early. I know it's hard. Come on. Come on up. Come on. Come on, fam. Let's see. I can't find my own video once again. Uh, I need somebody to share it. Maybe if I get on a different person. Mm. <sighs> Come on, fam. Wake up. I know some of y'all up. What's up, brother Kwame? We about to kick it. I'm just looking for I'm just looking for my post so that I can post up my my usual stuff. You know, they won't let me. I gotta advertise my own shit. You know. My fault, side besides you, my brother, and um, Sister Sheila, you know, let's see if we can, because Facebook ain't sharing like they used to, you know, but hey, you can't be mad at them, you can't be mad at them, because I want to stop me too, alright, so it ain't popping up, it's not popping up. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Thank you, sir. Thank you. All right. Let me pop up some stuff real quick. Put a like on there. Throw up some comments real quick. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Turn it down so it won't interfere. Give me a second here. Of course, we want everybody, everybody to sign up for the gum, to sign up for the Nguza Saba Challenge. And speaking of that, it's whooping my ass. Oh, I'm on day nine, fam. Fasting. And the only thing I'm on now is that ambrosia and that water. Oof. And it's not that I'm necessarily hungry. You know what I'm saying? It's not. It's just wanting to eat. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, it's training me. Good morning, Miss. Good morning, Miss Sheila. It's just draining me. And I'm just like, God damn. All right, so there's the Goose Sapa Challenge. Everybody get on that. Y'all get that, you know, get that, that discount. You know what I'm saying? When you support the journey, journey, you get more back, right? I just say that because I'm into trading. I ain't necessarily into it, into all this stuff. Great Cootie Chagalia. Ain't it? It's so nice that Cootie Chagalia fell on. The 4th of July day. Man, I'm about to tear this shit up. Boy, do I have some information that I stumbled across. Lord have mercy. One more. I got one more gum road for those. I got two more actually. Gum.co forward slash. The Ambrosia. Now, this is for people who are serious about getting that Ambrosia. Right? And you want, you know what you want. Right? You can support the journey to get that ambrosia. Right? Now, with that, that comes with an order form. Take that order form, do your thing. Now, when you order, you got to give me some time to get your stuff together because I, you know, I, for some of y'all, some of y'all without the developed taste, I got to get y'all to the point of, I got to get y'all some new stuff. I got to, um, and I haven't started brewing yet. I ain't start my next brewing cycle. And last one is GNJ Update. So y'all get some of my insights in this struggle. Because <sighs> look, I'm sitting up here trying to do this fast, and it's kicking my ass. It's, I guess there's a reason that fast rhyme with ass. Because it, <sighs> Lord, have mercy. All right, but now, so today... We're going to be talking about the scapegoat and how this role fits deeply and strongly within the American society, within, within all societies and the importance of the scapegoat 
and in some cases the similarities between the scapegoat and the king, right? And how society was formed by the scapegoat. Black folks, black folks, we have been serving this country as a sacrificial, sacrificial scapegoat for generations. Generations. It's a sacrificial scapegoat. The shit is incredible. When you really start but, um, delving into this, I remember years ago, it was a book called, I think, The Sacred Bow or The Sacred Bow by Frazier. Is it Frazier? I can't remember. And it was another one called The Anacalypsis that was all the rage at the time because these books went into looking at ancient cultures now both of them had the 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 wherewithal to talk about how society and culture came out of africa and in a sense traced it all the way back and was able to trace through the mythology connecting all the mythology all the way back to us right and then they they talked about the sacrificial king And, you know, I kind of glanced over that, and I was like, wow, okay, I remember that G, Jim, you know, J.A. Frazier or something like that. Well, anyway, the sacrificial king is the opposite of the scapegoat. They, they're, they're the same thing on the same coin. One is sacrificed so that society can continue on in peace. The other is spared so that he could use his new sacred position because this, how can I put it? The scapegoat and the sacred king both realize the secret, the secret and the lie of society. So the scapegoat got to be taken out because he's dangerous. He realized the lies and he knows what the truth in society is. And because he's different, he doesn't get listened to or she doesn't get listened to. And he and she is sacrificed. And around the sacrifice arises myths and legends. Did y'all hear what I said? Now, the sacred king or the sacrificial king is given a stay of execution and is put in a prominent position. Because he was able or she was able to negotiate his, his freedom for exchange for providing the people with peace. Now, if I got to be on that goddamn coin, y'all know, my brother, I tell me, you, you know what I'm saying? We have to switch our position. It's called. Y'all got to excuse me because my mind is, I'm trying to burn. I'm trying to get into that ketosis. I'm, I'm moving towards that ketosis right now. And I am, I am 10 pounds lighter. So I have let, released a lot of old shit. And when I say old shit, I mean old shit literally. My dreams are becoming crazy. Um, and we're going to, we're going to get into that this week while I'm, while I'm doing this too. But it's called, uh. When you try, I call, I talk about it with the ambrosia. When you take uh, a base metal and turn it to gold, alchemy, right? Is 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 alchemy? You know what I'm saying? We've been, we haven't been using alchemy. We've been just embracing the the just the dark side and just being satisfied with being a scapegoat because we have been trained through the indoctrination that it is better to serve and to sacrifice ourselves rather than to be served we don't deserve it in the society the informant becomes a scapegoat that's right unless unless 
that informant is able to negotiate a better position for himself, having the wisdom and an understanding to parlay his position into a place of royalty. The royal families are basically living, let me say it, extended sentences of death. When peace and, and all that shit break down in the country, the first thing that everybody is going for is that king. When poverty hit a kingdom, you, you don't want no you don't want no kingdom when there ain't no peace and no money. Somebody gotta pay for that shit. And it's sacrifice of that individual that helped bring and solidify the peace. Whether it's the scapegoat, whether it's the sacred king. All right, today we're gonna try this Volvic water. Y'all see it? Look at that! Look at that! Uh, look at that! Volvic water. Mmm. Say, so come right from the volcano. Natural spring water. Mineral composition. Milli milligrams slash per liter, I guess, MG over L, calcium, 12, sulfites, 9, magnesium, 8, potassium, 6, bicarbonates, 74, silica, 32, chlorides, 15, dissolved, solids, 180, C, 130, ppm, Neutrally balanced pH 7. Naturally occurring electrolytes. Contributing to the taste nature intended. Six, layer, six layers of volcanic filtration. For inquiries or reports on bottled water quality or information. Alright, that's all right. No more information about that. Let's go and try this water. Shit, sound like a steak right about now, you know? Smell kind of fresh. Dissolved solids. Man. Those minerals. You know what I'm saying? You be needing them. And I'm thirsty. Let's see. Oh. Bring them out, bring them out. Bring them out, bring them out. Bring them out, bring them out. I like that. Bring them out, bring them out. It's the glass there. Woo! Feel the ancestors rolling over today, y'all. I know y'all, some of y'all, y'all getting ready for the day, you know, the barbecues and stuff. And I'm not saying not to celebrate, you know what I'm saying? But we have to redefine how and what we celebrate. You know what I'm saying? We have to be clear with our kids how and what we celebrate. You know what I'm saying? We got to be true with them. We got to be truthful with them when they ask about the parades because the parades is going to be going on. Your children are going to want to see the parades. Are you not going to take the children and not say nothing to them? Or are you going to take the children and really talk to them about what today stands for? Right? And how. And how it affects us. Right? Now, we're going to drink. I don't know. Let me see how many. They got leaders on here. My mathematic genius is on here. All right. It's 1.5 quarts. So a quart is a quarter of a gallon. A gallon is. A gallon is 10 of these. This is. Uh, I think it's a 12 ounce. So, a gallon is 120 ounces. Uh, I ain't going to do that math. Shit. Uh, can somebody tell me how many ounces 105 quarts is? Okay, Google. Hold on, fam. Using modern technology. This this, is this how we get down with the research now. Okay, Google. How many ounces is 105 quarts? My fault. Wrong. Okay, Google. 
How many ounces is 1.05 quarts? 1.05 U.S. liquid quarts equals 33.6 U.S. fluid ounces. Cool. Okay. Thank you, Google. All right, now, I know they watch me, you know, but shit. Okay. All right, so let's just taste this water. Yeah, that's right. Did you do? Oh, okay. 128 ounces. Okay, 128 ounces is a gallon and 33.60 ounces is a... Yeah, I said it wrong the first time. It's 1.05 quarts. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Hmm. I didn't like spring water until I got hungry. Shit. Oh, this. Hmm. Oh, so what we're going to be talking about is what they call the mimetic. It's called a mimetic desire or the scapegoat mechanism. Shh, family, I'm going to chew this shit up. I'm going to chew it up and I'm going to spit it out. See, because it's, yo, and then on top of this, I was thinking about this. I mean, my dreams is so epic and scary. You know, the other, you know, early in the fast, I was drinking about, I was dreaming about eating chicken and shit. And I'm not really concerned about that because I haven't ate chicken for years and shit, right? But my dream last night and for the last couple of nights have really concerned me, right? Kind of creeped me out. And I said, okay, okay. So it's cool. But what I'm trying to say is, do you notice that in, in, in our community, we have never had access or been inundated like we have been with weed, um, heroin, cocaine, form of crack. Our community has never been inundated with drugs that push us beyond this reality. We have been inundated with drugs that make it possible for us to deal better with this reality or to feel this reality. It, it brings us or it, it enables us to deal with the shit that's going on with us. It doesn't push us beyond, right? And I'm starting to wonder, because of this dream last night. Once you start fasting, like I'm doing right now, your body start releasing a lot of old shit. And in some ways, your body, especially if you're doing the breathing and, and you're doing other shit, start releasing its own hallucinogen. Which makes your dreams a little bit more vivid. Because when we were studying the pineal gland, we found out that the pineal gland releases melanin. Melanin is a byproduct of serotonin. But also, dimetyltryptamine is also a byproduct of those two chemicals. DMT is known as the spirit molecule. We're going to talk about a little bit more in depth, right? But we have not been given access in our community, you know, since all these drugs are flowing and shit. We never get none of this, none of the uh, hallucinogenics. You know what I'm saying? That, that shit's not flowing in our community. I mean, even when it was like mushrooms and shit. You know what I'm saying? I remember being on campus. I, it was easy for me to get get weed, but I always could find a white boy who had access to some goddamn mushrooms. Them boys was up there doing mushrooms. They were doing weed and mushrooms. And I'm sitting up here 
Why no Alyssa Jennings in our community? Why nothing that possibly can take us to the other side so that we can see a whole different reality? But that's a whole nother thing. Let's go and finish training. Mm. The Volvi gets a thumb up. Get the thumbs up. I'm impressed. I'm going to have to go get some more of that. This is almost as good. Well, actually, this is as good at, damn, it kind of got a lot of, I don't know. Like, maybe that's me. Got a sweet taste. Mmm. Let's get our water, fam. Get watered up. Ooh, I need this. Can also trip the amygdala. Ooh. I don't understand what SB. Oh, spelling question. Amygdala. Can also trip the amygdala. Hmm. You talking about DMT or the the mushrooms or some of the other uh, psychotropics? They keep that. They keep that shit away from us, cause it keep it. You know what I'm saying? It. We need sedatives. We don't need exploratory shit. You know what I'm saying? So they don't want to release exploratory shit in our community. You know what I'm saying? They just, you know. And, and I can dig it. I can dig it. I can dig it. I wouldn't want to release that shit on my enemy either. You know what I'm saying? Where well, motherfucker might get an insight on freedom. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I mean, they really don't even want us to sleep. We really don't even get sleep no more. You know what I'm saying? Because it used to be, you know, never wake a sleeping slave. Why? Because he might be dreaming of freedom. We don't even get to sleep no more. All the stimulation they got going on around us. Mmm. So, I'm going to open a bottle of that original. The amygdala is another kind of gland that can raise your mental, emotional well-being. Mmm. Shit. See, I love my fam. Because, you know, it is one thing to be able to just talk and, and, and with, with folk and it's like nobody wants to say nothing. Nobody want to ask questions and shit. Nobody really have no no comments and shit. It's another thing when you're talking with your fam, and they're able to um, throw shit in, right? You know what I'm saying? Give, give other information because the whole idea is behind the toast is not just toasting the ancestors, right? But to to elevate those five parts of us: the intuition, that mental, that emotional, that spiritual, that physical. You know what I'm saying? We got to. If we don't inspire each other, who will? You know what I'm saying? It's our job to do that shit. We can't. Ain't nobody else going to do it. Now, I'm going to bring this glass of the chocolate. I want y'all to see this. It, it's, it's our job to do that. That's our responsibility. You know what I'm saying? We got to inspire each other. We got, you know what I'm saying? We got to push each other. Also, another thing that I want to say before I do the toast. There is this post going around. I shared it on my timeline about solar energy, where they have come up with a new way to make solar cells, right? Using the uh, 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 atom smasher, right? Makes it a whole lot cheaper. Um, they might be selling stock, but regardless of whether this is legit or whatever, we really need to look into that energy sector. You know what I'm saying? Because it's really going to help our children. I'm just saying. You know, we got to make sure because they ain't going to, we got to make sure some, some employment out there. Y'all see now, this one is cool. I cooled this one off. 
So it ain't, it ain't going to be flowing like usual. But I want y'all to watch. All right. For my brother, brother Kwame, what's happening is they're getting the phone, right? I just... This is natural carbonation. This is the original. This is the flagship of G&J. This is the G&J original. Straight green tea, honey, and fermentation. You could do this at home. Or you could get it from me. Your choice. Oh, I like this glass. I like you too, blue glass. I don't want you to get upset. So first, we call on the ancestors by whatever name you, you choose to call the ancestors. We call that power down today, especially today, to bless us, right? You know what I'm saying? Because today is a is 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 a so called holiday. You know what I'm saying? Um and you celebrate the independence of the country, but it's the same country that has been oppressing my kind for a long time, right? So we call our we call our Creator, and we ask the Creator to bless us and give us strength on this day, and give us the words to be able to speak to our children, so that we can tell the stories to connect them in the way that they need to be connected to this holiday, so that they can strive to get what is theirs, so that they can strive to be the sacred king rather than the scapegoat. We call our creator and we say, I say, from there we move to our ancestors, our personal ancestors. We call on our personal ancestors. We remember them on this day, right? We, we, we ask for them to be around us. We ask for them to, to flow with us. We ask for them to bless us. We ask for them to give us insight. We ask for them to give us wisdom. We ask for them to give us comfort. We ask for them to lift us up when we're down. We ask for them to, to, to present us with challenges so we can grow. We ask for their, um, for, for, for the wisdom that they have compiled. We call on our personal ancestors and we remember them and we call them by name. So I'm going to start with my family line. If, if anybody out there has some more family they want to add, make sure you Make sure you put it up in the comments, and I'll get them, all right? We call, I'm calling on Miles Brown, Mizan, Robin, the Santa Davis, Hummer Brown, Senior, Rosalie, Tilly, Georgia, William Walton, Christopher, Fanny, Chris, and Fanny Gatson, Aunt Lena, Uncle Chris. Geneva Brown, Cleveland Brown, Alvaro Brown, Barbara Twiggs, Jenny Gaines, Margaret Ellis, Cecil Ellis. Wash Ellis, Wash Ellis Jr., Jamon Jones, John Fullard, Jeremiah Tappan, Monique Pimenel, No More Axe, Brother Sapet Maya Ra. Elder Farmer, Elder Donaldson, Elder Hairston, um, Dr. Marianne Williams, Tony Clark, Pastor Yusef Weston. I lift you up. I lift you up. I toast and I say, I say. From there, we toast our children. Oh no, right now we toast the present moment. We toast this day of Chagalia and we ask for the power to define ourselves for ourselves in this crazy time. Next, we call on our children, our children's children onto infinity. We toast them. Our children are asleep. I'm just peaceful that they're able to sleep in peace. Toasting Cleveland out there because I know Cleveland is out there down south somewhere and hopefully enjoying themselves. Um, ancestors got their arms wrapped around them. We toast them. Um, I toast our children for the next seven generations because we are responsible for them. So be careful what we think, say, and do. So we lift it up and we say, I shake. Last but not least, I toast you.
fan. I toast you. I toast you through your struggles. I toast you in your strengths. I toast you in your power. I toast you in your joy. With that we say, I say, I say, I say. I wish you peace, power, and joy. Ooh. Sometimes I be, I be forgetting how good this shit is. I mean, my other ones are okay. Especially when they mature. After they mature, they're kind of rough. But you know, it's nothing like that fresh out of the bottle after it's been frozen um, in the, um, with the carbonation process and the pressure has built up. Mmm, mmm, mmm. So I was at the African store. And they got some African, um, some African honey. Pretty expensive. Comes straight from Ghana. And I'm thinking about maybe making a brew with some of that. You know what I'm saying? Cause, because I want to see, be, you know, because the bees over there are getting different qualities. But it's not the same over here because it won't be as good for the allergies that we have developed over here. Maybe some of the ailments that we have developed over here. But it might have some shit that might be good for some of our DNA. So I'm looking at, you know, having uh, uh, some that will be made with honey straight from Africa, especially if I find out if it's unpasteurized or not, because I see some crystallization happening with the honey, but I just want to make sure. You understand what I'm saying? And But it's real expensive, so, you know, that'll probably be a little personal stash and some that I really have for those tight circles, all right? Like, like those that be popping up here early in the morning with me. <coughs> Went down the road pipe <coughs> <coughs> Like I'm smoking weed Ah, man Oh, alright Facebook I took up enough of your time I want to thank y'all This is day nine So I'm going to turn the page on day eight. I'm going to get in, make my video. Then I'm about to go lay myself back down. I tried to do my workout, but it didn't quite work out. You know what I'm saying? But I think after I drink this ambrosia, got that water in me, I did a little bit of breathing. I think I'm going to be able to do it. All right. We on day nine. It's important that if you're doing a challenge that you keep your log, you keep your you keep your um your keep up on your diary, right? You know what I'm saying? Keep up on your Ngusa Saba challenge chart so that you can come back whenever you're having problems because some of the stuff that's gonna be revealed to you why you are putting yourself on the system. You see, as I keep going back to the system is designed to keep us from creating our own systems, right? All of our certifications, which is basically take you taking yourself through a process, you taking yourself through a system that belongs to somebody else. All of them belong to someone else, to some other group. You know what I'm saying? Even systems of martial arts that a lot of us get them involved with. They belong to someone else. And the goal is to start developing our own systems, right? Because out of our own systems comes our own liberation, comes our own growth. We can grow in other people's systems. We done proved that. So now, let's just stop growing and let's start prospering by creating our own systems through which we can improve ourselves. We can we can open up our minds and we could grow to a level unseen of in thousands of years. All right. So um, the date seven four seventeen, the proverb that I'm gonna be using. I'm I'm sticking with one proverb 
Um, the best life is achieved by engagement with systematic process. The best life is built on system, the systematic use of life-given principles. That's life care. Same principle. Same proverb. The story that I'm going to be dealing with today, I'm coming from this book, so y'all can see how I'm doing it. The Man and the Muskrat. So I'll be reading that before I go to bed, breaking it down. I haven't taken my cold shower yet. Still fasting. We're doing the daily toast right now. Workout. Struggle. Put struggle on there. All right, family. I'm about to go over and do my other video for YouTube and upload both of these. So make sure y'all like, subscribe on YouTube, please. You know what I'm saying? Feel free to share. You know, let's continue building. You know, because it's important that we celebrate our ancestors as well as celebrate ourselves. Um, you have a wonderful day, too. Miss Sheila, you working out? You see you got workout with smiles. You working out, too, Miss, Miss Sheila? All right. I'll see y'all soon. Thank y'all for the shares. We out.